Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a little bit of a different video to share with y'all. I will be sharing how I store my holiday decor and we are going to take a peek into what I have. So a common question that I get a ton when I post like holiday hauls, like a Halloween decor haul, a fall home decor haul, is where do I store all of that stuff when it's not in season? And today I'm here to answer that question. Okay, so like I mentioned, the question that I get quite often is how do I store all of my holiday decor when I'm not using it? So I can answer that question two ways. How do I store it in plastic storage containers like this? And where do I store these storage tubs? I store them in my attic. Before we lived in the house that we live in now, we lived in an apartment and we had like an outside closet and that's where we would store our plastic holiday tubs as well. Now I didn't have in there as much. I feel like every single year I have to add an additional tub for each season. So I didn't have near the amount of stuff that I had probably like four or five years ago. So I've accumulated a lot. I love to shop. I love the clearance cells and that's kind of like what you're gonna see. If you've been with me for a while, you would have seen last year's fall home decor. No, you would have saw the clearance fall haul that I got at Hobby Lobby when the stuff was 80% off, as well as the after clearance Halloween stuff that I picked up at Walmart and Target. And I did pick some stuff up at Walgreens as well. So a lot of my stuff, I would probably say I do not pay full price for anything. It absolutely has to be on sale. I have to have a coupon or I'm purchasing my holiday and seasonal stuff when it is at rock bottom prices after the holiday. So that is just, if you're new to my channel, if you're just stumbling across my channel, that's just a little background information. So let's get into these tubs. The tubs are not the, the cleanest. They are stored in my attic all year long. I have five fall tubs. Uh, just kidding. I actually have six fall tubs. After I filmed this video and started uploading the footage, I was like, where are all of my pumpkins? So I had Mark go check in the attic and lo and behold, he forgot one of my plastic tubs that is filled top to bottom, left to right with a ton of decorative pumpkins. So totally forgot to show you guys that. I have six tubs. Everything in these tubs will take me from the first day of fall to Halloween to Thanksgiving. Now, all of the stuff in this bag, I do have a lot of stuff in this bag. I could have put in the plastic tub, but we already had all of this stuff stored away when I bought all of this after clearance stuff that I ended up just keeping it in this bag and putting it in the closet. So that is why that is not in a, in a tub and one of my tubs is almost empty. Okay, let me zoom you guys in. So we'll take a look at this first little tub here. Okay, let's see what we have. Here I have a couple of Halloween pillows. I love pillows, I love decorative pillows. So, okay, actually before we get into this tub, the way that I store or like organize the stuff in tubs, it's not really organized. So for me, organized right now just means that I know these are my fall tubs. And I also have a 4th of July tub and a spring tub. But as far as like organization in the tub itself, I don't have that going on. So maybe this year I'll be more organized in the way that I store it. But for right now, it's just kind of put in there. So these pillows I've had for quite a few years, probably three, no, probably five years. And I just like store them in like bags like this when I put them in here. I guess in my mind, I think that like, they're safer that way, I don't really know. So, here we have this cute little witch's feet pillow that says witch, and this cute little pillow. Okay, so my goal every year is to like declutter and get rid of the things that I haven't used in a few years. If I haven't pulled it out of my tub in like three years, then that means I'm probably not gonna use it anymore, and I like to give it away or donate it. And some things have just had too much use and they need to be like thrown away. So I try to do that every year. Okay, 
There's so much stuff. So I have a ton. This looks like it's mainly a Halloween bucket. If you are familiar with Michaels, they do like $4 grab bags. Not that often, but I feel like for Halloween, I always get a few of their $4 grab bags. And it's kind of like all of the items that didn't sell at the end of the season or at the end of the holiday, they will throw as much as they can in a bag and you buy it for $4 and you don't know what's in it. So I've definitely stocked up on a lot of things that way. So like this is one of those items. Why do I have this? I think it's time for me to pass it on, but I do. Lots of little plastic tubs. I like keeping these. And here is another, like this one's brand new. I think I got at probably Walgreens for like 90% off. I like keeping these and I give them away when like I see an adorable little trick-or-treater come to the door and like if they don't have a little bucket if they just have a little bag then I'll give them something like this so I always buy this stuff when it's 90% off so here we have a ton of little items like this this came from the Dollar Tree I believe last year he's adorable oops there he is so cute Okay, I stocked up on these. These were $2.99, but I guarantee you I probably paid 80 to 90% off. And these are little cookie plate treat bags. This is a little game. Yes, basically all of this stuff are things that I got from the Michael's little grab bags. These are little crinkle critters that you can make when we have our Halloween parties. We don't really have too many littles in our family at the moment, but we'll pull some of these out. Oh, these are cute. The Martha Stewart little crafts and they are like little hands. Can you see those? So, so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking and just kind of like zoom in and show you guys like the majority of the stuff that's in this bucket. Okay. I'm talking again. So I made these little banners last year. I made this one for, I believe the bar cart, or maybe I had it on the coffee bar. So here's a cute little banner that I made. And then I made this little banner for the photo booth. And it actually lights up, let's see. Yep, so cute, the buffalo check and the orange and white stripes. I will definitely be reusing this. I also have a ton of these little baking cups. And I know the next question probably is, why do you have all of this stuff and what are you gonna do with it? Because like this bucket isn't really home decor or like fall decor. So we do something in the neighborhood that's called like, you've been booed. So you make a little basket when you, when you get booed at your front door and then you drop off a basket sometimes you can be booed up to two times we also do like the booed thing at work and th these are just like super cute things that i pick up when they're like 10 cents and i can add them to a gift basket i give a ton of stuff away um i make little treat bags for the kiddos and then like i mentioned like i picked these up on clearance last year and like if I see a little Minnie Mouse come up to the door, like I have a whole bucket of stuff ready to go to just give away. So let's see, I think this is something that I remember. It's like a witch's hat that you like can like put on the door and it lights up. Oh, I picked this up for 90% off at Walgreens and it's absolutely adorable. I'm gonna hang this up this year. Okay, so that was everything in that Halloween bucket. Let's go ahead and move on to this fall bucket. So this fall bucket is how, it looks like it's housing all of my like floral pieces, like all of my swags. I secured this one down with tape since it does have all the floral pieces. I wanted to make sure that it was like extra sealed. So that's why I did that. Okay, so I am not going to pull all of this stuff out, but I will go over a little bit with you. All of these are swags that came from Hobby Lobby. 
when they do their 80% off, which is typically the second week in November. And I know that's pretty crazy and you wouldn't think that because we still have Thanksgiving, but since this stuff has been out since the summer, it goes on sale about the second week in November or where like you see that significant price drop. So that is where I buy all of this. I bought a couple of swags last year. So I do have a video on my fall clearance haul from Hobby Lobby from last year and I'll link that video down below if you're interested in watching to get an idea of like what you could score this year. I'm not gonna pull all of these out because I'm not trying to get them back in the same spot. I will be decorating like today and finishing up tomorrow. So let's see how I'm gonna do this. And maybe you're thinking, why do I have so many? We do have Thanksgiving here at my house and we set up quite a few tables and me and my mom absolutely love decorating and decorating for holidays. So on each table, we'll change things out. We'll put different swags, different centerpieces. We'll make new things. So that's why I have a ton of this stuff. And like when my wreath, like my fall wreath that I have on the door, when it starts looking to be spruced up a little bit, I'll take one of these swags that I've had and I'll spruce it up with one of these. So like this one's absolutely beautiful. It has like giant acorns on it. I love this one. Oh, this one is beautiful. I picked this one up last year and I am in love with it. I think this year I'm going to use it like in the kitchen, like on top of the cabinets. The orange is so beautiful, like it is gorgeous. Let me see if it's got like a price tag on it. Because I got it 80% off. It does. It was regular price $60. Like that is just crazy. I would never pay $60 for a swag. It was regular price $60. It was 80% off. So I paid $12 for this $60 swag. Like that is crazy. I also have these little smaller swags. And these again are always good for just fillers, for centerpieces, to add to wreaths. Let's see. I just saw the price tag, here it is. It was $10 and then 80% off, so I paid two bucks for it. You simply cannot beat that. I also have some like floral from the Dollar Tree. And, oh my goodness. Um, sometimes I forget what I have because if you watch one of my Dollar Tree hauls, I bought a lot of floral. And, you know, I, I forget what I have. So that's that. I also have like little bags of leaves like this from the Dollar Tree. Again, these are always good to just even add to the swag when it's like on the table. If you see any bare spots, you can add some filler there. We love like throwing this around our centerpieces. This whole thing is filled with floral, with garland, and I love it. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next tub. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I feel like you see how I haul a ton of stuff and I'm not ignoring the question when I get it. It's just, I don't want to be like too repetitive. So I just thought that I could just film this video for you guys today. So this tub is more Halloween stuff. And again, it's just going to be a variety of stuff. This is one of my like witches hats. I purchased this at Pier 1, I think three years ago, and it is so luxe and uh, I just love the detail on this hat. It is gorgeous. Now, this isn't where I store my Halloween costumes or like the little DIY costumes and like pieces. That is stored somewhere else, but this hat is so beautiful and I love it so much. I didn't want to store it with my costumes because I didn't want it to get smushed down. But if you can see, there's a huge spider right here. And these are like the little spider legs. It's so, so cute. So I have that. I have some little pillows. These are from the Target Dollar Spot from a few years ago. And they say Hocus Pocus. And just some decor pumpkins. I have a whole little box of glittery pumpkins. And again, as you can see, I'm not super organized in how I store things. This came from Marshalls probably seven years ago, and it lights up. It's gorgeous. Let's see what else we have in here. I should probably get more organized with how I store everything. I have this little witch's broom in that. 
and this is from the Dollar Tree. In here, I have two floral arrangements that I bought at 80% off from Michael's a few years ago. I think you guys would have seen one of these in my like Halloween candy bar videos. So here's what this one looks like. It's so, so pretty. Since it has been stored for a year, it is kind of like smushed up. So when I set it out to decorate, I'll spruce it up and fluff things out. I've added certain pieces over the years, like this little witch's hat didn't come with it, but bought it on clearance and then stuffed it in here. So I'll spruce this up. Here I had some leftover plates and napkins. I picked these up on clearance. They're just like little bulbs. Here's another little centerpiece. This came from the Target dollar spot. I don't know, probably 2015. And then I have this super cute little set. I've had it for a few years. I got it on clearance one year from Michaels. It's by Recollections and it's like a little party set. And it comes with just absolutely adorable things to like help decorate for parties. So if you'll notice like there's a banner here and that's how I created those banners I showed you earlier. And there's just a ton of great stuff in here for parties. Okay, next up I have two more tubs. This one is practically empty. It has some mesh left over from a wreath that I made last year. So you know what that means. I basically have an empty tub to help store all of the new stuff that I will probably buy and all of my like Halloween clearance hauls. Okay, let's look at this last tub here. Okay, we have more Halloween. I love it. Don't you just love all of this black and orange? It's so, so pretty. So here we have a runner. I used this runner. I've had it for years. I used it in my Halloween candy haul. No, Halloween candy bar video. This is just a banner that says Happy Halloween. And it's actually a really nice banner that I got on clearance at Michael's. These are some of my absolute favorite things. I have a cat and a jack-o'-lantern, and they both have feet. I don't know if you can see that. And they stand up, and I keep them by the door filled with all of the candy and the treat bags. For when the trick-or-treaters come by, I love seeing all of the little trick-or-treaters. My absolute favorite thing to do is to pass out candy and see the cute little outfits. So, again, I have the cat. These actually came from Kirkland's a few years ago. Um, then I have some decor that was actually given to me by one of my aunts. And this is a little skull set. It's like the skull and the hands and you can like set it up in your yard and it's, it's actually pretty spooky. This is really cute too. My aunt gave this to me. It is a spider web which i know it looks like a ball of mess but it's actually a spider web and it's the lights are purple and there's a purple spider in there and it's so gorgeous at night i have some dollar tree lanterns if you are wondering these are amazing i have more what are these called photo booth props some boas mark had to have this one year I have more little pumpkins. I have more lanterns here. Let me, let's see. And a couple of little signs that were from the Target dollar spot. Okay, guys, I just have this little bag left. And it's, I say little because I say little all the time, but it is not a little bag. It's one of those ginormous, reasonable shopping bags from Home Goods. Uh, let's see, all of this stuff, like I mentioned earlier, is from my after Halloween clearance haul, which I'm going to link that video down below. You should definitely check it out. That is a different video from the one from Hobby Lobby. So there's going to be like a Hobby Lobby clearance home decor haul, and then there will also be the Halloween after clearance items. I buy a ton of stuff after the season's over. This is from Target. It was $24.99. I don't even know what the percent off was, but it's like this little light up blue sign. I'm so excited that we'll be able to hang this up this year. 
and I don't want to bore y'all and show you everything again especially if you go back and watch those hauls but I just have a ton of like little crafts so these are super cute scarecrows you get a boy and a girl you actually get 24 it makes 24 scarecrows for $7.99 but then again like I don't know 80% off just adorable little Halloween blanket that Max will get to use this year. A ton of stuff for Halloween parties. All of these goodies. I cannot wait to make my little treat bags for the little trick-or-treaters. So when I go out and I buy all of the stuff, I have all of those little guys in mind. And I'm picking up all of these little things for them. So, look, little slide. You literally cannot beat getting this stuff on a major cell. So if you guys would like for me to film when I put my little treat bags together, give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments down below. Like, look at this. I bought this little troll wig because it was on sale. I don't know. Ooh, I'm glad I picked that up. This little balloon from the Target dollar spot that says eek. So, I'm sorry, I am so distracted. If you wanna see me put together the little treat bags for the little trick-or-treaters, leave me a comment down below or give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.